Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this session, we will discuss area under its speed time graph. Uh, this is speed and this is time, and we have to uh, integrate this speed within this time to obtain the distance covered. So, this kind of problem we will be discussed in this uh, uh, 24.5. So, calculate the distance traveled in 20 seconds from each of these time speed time graph so this time graph this is uh, increasing speed is increasing and reaches to the 18 meters per second and within this time we have to calculate the uh, distance calculate the distance traveled so this is similarly for this distance traveled and for this and similarly for this one so let's start this uh, from 24.5 and this first one we have uh, distance uh, speed is basically 18 and uh, this is 20 and this is uh, the area under this this speed is 18 and this is 20 and we have to find this area and this area is basically half into uh, length into height so this is 20 and this is 18 so half 18 into 20 is basically 180 meters so the distance uh, traveled in 20 seconds uh, for this 18 uh, meters per second final speed and for this the average speed is basically the 9 so 9 into 20 is 180 meters per second so easy so similarly for this one part b we have the initial velocity is 15 and the final velocity is 20 so initial velocity is 15 meters per second and time taken is 20 so this is 20 s is equal to ut plus half a t square so this is t is 20 uh, time and this is initial velocity is 15 plus half a t square and acceleration is basically in this duration so 20 minus 15 divide by 20 this is acceleration into and time taken is 20 seconds square so t 20 square so this gives uh, 15 into 20 plus this is 20 minus 15 5 upon 20 so 1 upon 4 1 over 8 so 1 upon 2 and this is 20 upon uh, 20 5, uh, 5 upon uh, this is uh, uh, 15 so 5 upon 20 and this 20 will cancel this 120 so this will be rich here so this is uh, 15 into 20 half is 50 so this is 15 into 10 so 5 into 10 sorry 15 this is 15 so this is 5 and this 2 will cancel it to 10 and then that is 50 so this is 300 and this is 50 so this total distance covered under this area is 350 meters for this similarly for this part c we have this 25 meters per second and it reaches to uh, zero uh, speed in 20 seconds so this area is equal to half and this length and this height and this breadth so 1 over 2 20 into 20 so this is uh, 10 into 250 meters so the total distance it traveled under this area is 20 250 meters similarly for this the initial uh, speed was 8 so this is u this is t and plus half and uh, this acceleration is uh, 120 12 divided by 8 divided by 20 and then 20 square so divide by 20 and 20 square will cancel this one and it will reach this value so after that it gives 200 meters for so this 160 and for this we have this 40 so this is 200 meters so so this is uh, all from question number one and the second part the speed time graph shows 100 seconds of a car journey so initially it speed was 10 and it reaches to 20 meters per second for after 40 to uh, 100 uh, seconds the speed was constant for with 20 meters per second so we have to find uh, uh, should I graph this calculate the acceleration of the time when t is equal to 20 second at this time the acceleration and uh, calculate the distance traveled by the car in the first 
40 seconds in the first 40 seconds the distance traveled and uh, in the part uh, 2 b2 calculate the total distance traveled in 100 seconds so this is question number 2 so question number 2 a is equal to v minus u divided by t so initial uh, velocity was 10 and final velocity was 20 so 20 minus 10 divided by this is 40 so this is uh, 10 divided by 4 t is 1 upon 4 this point 25 meters per second square from 0 to 40 seconds and after that the acceleration was 0 because the, there was no change in speed so acceleration was 0 after t is equal to 40 so the distance traveled in this region from 0 to 40 is 0 into 40 because this is this is a u and this is t this is time 40 seconds and this is initial speed 10 and plus half and this is 20 minus 10 20 minus 10 this is and this is 40 so, yeah. so it gives the distance traveled from 0 to 40 so this gives 0 to 40 seconds it gives 600 meters and for this duration we have this uh, 60 seconds and this is 20 seconds so the height is 20 and this breadth is 60 so the distance is 20 into 60 is to 100 meters so the total distance traveled from 0 to 100 seconds is 600 plus 1200 is 1800 meters uh, similarly for this uh, third graph that is uh, speed time graph shows 50 seconds of its car journey from 18 to 20 so in 30 seconds the it was a deceleration and after that it was uh, moving with a constant velocity of 12 meters per second so calculate the distance traveled by the car in fifth in these 50 seconds and after 50 seconds the car uh, slowed down with a constant deceleration of 0.4 meters per second work out how many more time second it take for the car to come to rest so so for this uh, we can calculate this area and this area and this area so this is uh, this is rectangle so this is rectangle this is uh, this is triangle so this all three calculated here and it gives total distance is 690 in a part b after 50 seconds the car slowed down with a constant deceleration the constant deceleration is 0.4 minus negative and u is 12 meters per second at this time the velocity was 12 meters per second and the final velocity because it takes time like this so it final velocity was 0 and time taken to reach to the 0 speed so v is equal to a t so a is t is equal to this is 0 so u is equal to this and minus 0.4 so t is equal to 30 seconds it would take 30 seconds more so it will reach around 80 seconds after 80 seconds from 50 to 80 seconds it will decelerate and that reaches at that time it will be completely in rest position so, uh, this is the time speed graph show part of a train journey this is question number four initially the speed was increasing this is u speed and uh, and for this duration from 20 to 80 the speed was constant and after that the speed decreases to zero so it was accelerating constant speed and then decelerating to the uh, next stop so the train travel at a speed of uh, travel a total uh, distance of 680 meters the whole area is given 680 meters in 110 seconds this total time work out the value of this we have to find the value of this u that is the speed so s is equal to uh, half u 20 this is half u this is height and this is 20 plus uh, u into 60 so this is 80 minus 20 60 and this is half u 110 minus 80 and this is uh, 10 u this is 60 u this is 15 u 30 divided so 15 u so this is 680 so 10 16 and 15 is 85 
u 680 so 680 divided by 85 is 8 meters per second so this u is basically 8 meters per second so this is very very important problem this kind of questions asking for exams so similarly for this graph 5 the speed time graph shows that the first 30 seconds of the car journey so first has 30 seconds work out the speed of the car after 15 seconds so after 15 seconds it will be half 10.5 uh, and uh, work out the distance traveled by the car in the first 15 seconds again same formula so 0 to 1 so this 10.5 up to 10 seconds and distance traveled for that is half VDTT that is 78.5 meters for 0 to 10, 15 seconds and similarly for the sketch a distance time graph this is also sketch a distance time graph for the car journey so this is all So this is uh, for 15 to uh, 30 seconds it, it travels to this much so it is increases uh, distance uh, is increases very sharply because the speed is increasing so that's all from uh, chapter 24